Hi and welcome to the uh, first preview of Windows Media Center for the Pronto. So um, let's just start with some basic stuff. This is the main screen when nothing's playing. I'll start with actually showing some pictures on the Pronto and on Media Center. I'll go to my uh, little daughter. And we go down here. And we've got um, two buttons, View and View on Media Center. View on Media Center. And there we go, it's showing it on Media Center. Um, then we can actually do View on Pronto. And as you can see on the Pronto, and then you can actually go up and down the photos. Um, so that's... Um, yeah, so that's um, viewing photos, which is kind of neat. And we've got a nice cute, cute little cross here to close it off. Um, sort of going to go all over the shop here, but anyway, so here we go. Um, back to home, and actually we'll bring up the... Um, we've now actually got a TV guide. Um, click on that. And give it a few seconds. And um, there you go, so you've got a five-day TV guide. And you can press up and down to go through your channels, left and right to go through time. So if we go right, it takes a little bit of time to process because the page is dynamic. Um, and there you go, you can see the time ahead. It actually only goes to um, between 10 and midnight, and then you can go to the next day. <coughs> and there's my uh, dog barking in the background. Um, so you can click on, sp uh, actually, we'll close that one. You click on uh, Spider-Man, and you can go watch, record, record's not quite working yet, um, Media Center's being a little bit of a pain to try and integrate with, but we'll get there eventually, um, but we'll say watch. And as you can see, it's just switched to, to there. Now playing for this so far is, um, it's getting there. Um, we're having a bit of difficulties trying to get the TV pro information back, but you can hit record to record now, and you can actually rewind back in time as well as so just by clicking on the screen. And if we go back to the menu, um, it'll always go back to where you last were. Uh, so we, and of course, everybody always wants to use it for music. So if we drill down the music, um, artists, uh, let's see. Triangle. Hit play. And it starts playing straight away. And if you go to the now playing screen, you get your cover up. Um, again, you can just click to fast forward, click to rewind. Um, and of course, you can go next track. Go to uh, and go by genre. So you can go play all dance. And again, just go back to now playing. So that uh, so that's all working lovely. Um, pressing the Windows little Windows Media Center icon, it brings up a virtual keyboard, so you can actually just simulate going back. And make a liar of me. Um, so this is actually going back to the photos and then viewing. We go back again. Eventually goes back to there. So that's handy, that's on all screen, so you can just pop that up whenever if you need to access uh, any on screen controls. Um, go home. And then you got access to videos. This is the old Pronto Tunes video. Now we can go back and you can actually access um, your TV recordings. So I was watching some basketball when I first started doing some testing. So hitting play. And there we go. So, and as I said before, you can win on the now playing screen. 
Um, you can fast forward and rewind the video as well. Um, going home. So there's a really quick rundown of uh, what it can do. Um, it's just a little bit of a debug, debugging code there. Um, so yeah, so it, it's uh, it's almost ready for a, for a first release. Um, the, the good thing is really the TV integrated TV guide works really really well. Yeah. And so we'll just finish it off with um, some more music. Uh, we'll go genres. Bring up some good old trip hop. Now playing. There we go, so it's a quick overview. So you've basically got pitch control, movie control, video control, access to TV guide, uh, access to TV controls. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching.